What is going on today, guys? Today we are back down by the river to do some more magnet fishing. For the last few weeks, you guys, we have been magnet fishing the other side of this railroad. Every single time we come out here, we leave with just about a full cart of some of the coolest stuff you have ever seen. Now, today we're going to be trying out the other side of the railroad. We've only magnet fished here, I think, a couple times from the boat. And one of the times, we actually pulled up a World War II missile. What do we got here? Oh, dude, I think it actually is. It looks like a flipping RPG. Check this picture out. We looked this up on Google. This is literally a picture of the missile warhead. Uh, who found it? I did, yeah. I gotta take down your information. Sure. Today we're back out here. I got my waders on and we're gonna give it another shot. Today I do have the Finding Family out here with us. If you guys wanna follow Alex's channel, make sure to subscribe. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's get right down to it. I'm gonna hop in the water. Let's start tossing our magnet. And let's see if we can find anything here today. Yo, you guys, Um, I am just walking down to my little magnet fishing spot here. And I spy with my little eye. What the heck is going on here, man? Somebody get dumped on the side of the road or what? <laughs> Look at it. Seriously, we got a whole belt. We got two different pairs of socks. And then to get even weirder, we got a couple packs of like them waffle cookie things. What the heck is going on here? They're having a party down by the river. Still a little bit of ice on the shoreline here, you guys, but not much left. You guys, look at this big old iceberg. I probably could get on that. Should I try? I have to. It's like the law. If you see something like this, you gotta try to get on it, dude. I probably do have to lay flat. You're probably right. Oh yeah, this sucker is too thin. I don't think a duck could get on here. Oh, that sucker's heavy. It feels like I'm pushing a house. All right, guys, we are back today. I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's get right down to it. Let's start tossing around and let's see if we can find anything today. Check it out, guys. Before we start magnet fishing here, Alex already got his magnet stuck and we might have to grab the truck here, but I do have the waders on. So we're gonna go in I don't know how deep it gets over on this side. I've never walked in the river over here, but we're gonna go real nice and slow and see if we can't get his magnet unstuck. Oh yeah, it's right here too. Yeah, that's not deep. What is that though? What the? I feel some rocks. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yo, what are you wedged on? I'm like standing on it and I can't get it. There we go. I don't know what that is, but I got the magnet back. Now, I don't know how deep it gets or how fast, but it kind of seems like I can walk out kind of far. Oh, look at that. You guys, literally, I think this is like my fifth throw of the day and I already found me a railroad spike. A little bit of cash money. And we are right next to the railroad, you guys. We're probably gonna find a whole bucket of these suckers. But it's kind of weird because in the like 20 times we magnet fished on the other side of the bridge, I think we only maybe found like five in total. And between me and Alex, we're probably already at five right now. A little bit of cash money. Oh, I see some white on there, you guys. Check this out. What the heck do you think this thing is, man? This side doesn't look as white, but this side is super white. And it's definitely like that porcelain enamel type stuff. Could either be like the bottom of a pot or a pan, or it could be like a plate. It's kind of got like the lip on there for a plate. Cook us up some rib of dinner. Oh, dude, look at what else is on there. I didn't even... See that, whoa, anison? What is that, you guys, fast something? Oh, it's aspirin, dude, I just found like a little aspirin tin. Oh, I can see that from here, dude. Are you kidding me? Holy, it's hedge trimmer. <laughs> it almost does look like a hedge trimmer. Look at that you thing. Cutting hair with this? You wow, think? the big handled scissors, man. You guys, super crazy, and then this little 
packet or this little piece of paper type thing fell out of it too. On one side it says tablets of powder and then on this side it says bisadol. 12 tablets. You can kind of see it says headache. No way. Look at there's writing on the inside of it. Keep this tin handy in your pocket. The large money saving sizes and then it has a bunch of numbers. It looks like 50, 100, 200 tablets for your family medicine chest it says. Super cool find. Pop one of those bad boys you probably never have a headache again. Now well, we're getting a little action out there. A little tugging, a little pulling. What do we got here? I think we're definitely dragging something in. Yeah, see the bubbles out there? Pull her nice and slow. I don't want to get it snagged up and lose it. Oh yeah, this one's coming to Papa. What do we got? Oh yeah, for show, baby. What's this one? Huh? Doesn't look like nothing too fancy, you guys. It looks red though, kinda. Or maybe like a bronze. Oh, look at. First, I thought it was just uh, some kind of water pipe. But the more you look at it, it's got like an accent on the end there. It almost kind of looks like some kind of curtain rod. Could you imagine, did they have maybe curtain rods in the trains back in the day? I don't know. Could this be like a train curtain rod? That'd be crazy, you guys. Pretty cool. But then we had this funky looking bolt, you guys. Some more cash money. Scooting around a little bit, you guys. I am pretty much standing right underneath the railroad. Let's give her a few tosses around here and see if we can come up with anything. Oh, uh, some snaggy stuff in here. I think it's pretty steep. So we might be getting snagged on rocks because if you look behind me here, there's tons of big old boulders and rocks. I'm sure they go right into the water. So it's probably not gonna take much to get stuck on these. Oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think it drops off pretty quick there. So I gotta be careful of my waders, but I think, am I on a rock or what? Oh, I think that was a rock. Wow, I think I got it, but is there anything on there? Or do we get bamboozled for all that? Oh, check it out, you guys. Some more railroad cash money. This one here looks like one of these clamps. I know we found tons of these in the past. And again, right along with the railroad spikes, there's gotta be hundreds of these in here. Oh, I think I landed right on something. Oh, might be a big heavy something. You guys see all the bubbles out there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're tugging something here. Oh, heavy something. Now the problem is gonna be when we get to these rocks, we're gonna get stuck, man. I just know it. What is this? Is this actually coming? I think it is. I got it. Here it comes. Yeah, what is this? Ooh, what is this, you guys? Maybe, maybe. Oh, Alex could see it from way over there, you guys. This is 100% a train brake pad. You guys, this thing is super cool. You can definitely tell it's a little worn down because I have found some of these in the past and they are super thick. This one's pretty thin. Huh? Tugging on another something here. There's some heavy stuff in here, man. It's kind of hard to tell though if it's rocks half the time or if I got something on there. Yeah, I got another something heavy. Or maybe another couple somethings. Ooh, what was that? I thought I seen some red color. Looks like we caught us a big old cable. And if you look at the end there, you can see where it snapped right off. What do you think that thing was attached to? Ooh, look at that. And we got a little bolt. Oh, oh, look at this, you guys. I can see what that is right away. Check it out, that's 100% a bike chain. And what do you think? Did we just pull it off of the bike? Or was this thing just sitting down there by itself? Oh, 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, bunch of stuff on here again, I can see. Looks like just a bunch more scrap, but check it out, man. Another railroad spike. Between me and Alex, if we sit here long enough, we could probably fill up an entire bucket. All right, you guys, I was thrown on the other side of the railroad for quite a bit. Tons of cool railroad stuff over there, but I'm sliding down the river. We're gonna keep poking around. I thought I seen something right here. Yes, <laughs> I did too. Oh, uh, you guys, I was walking. You can almost see everything sticking out of the water because it's so crystal clear. And I kind of seen this and I thought it might have been a sign, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that lucky. Oh, yeah. Boom. Check that one out, you guys. Walking the shoreline and I found a railroad plate just sitting in the water. Oh, look at that right here. This water is so crystal clear right now, you can just about see everything. Boom, check out that fishing lure. That looks like a nice one. I'm pretty sure that's actually a glow in the dark tail too. Oh yeah, it looks like some kind of box. Check that out. It's like stuck right in the side of the earth here. Oh yeah, you're not even kidding. Look at this, you guys. This kind of does look like a safe here. And I didn't really think so until you look and you can see the hinges here. Holy cow. And the way they did this back then. Oh yeah. That's crazy. You can tell how it's almost like the, like they poured dirt or concrete or what is it? Yeah, like concrete right on top of it. That's crazy. It's an old wood cutting axe. Oh, look at that sucker. Oh, that is crazy. Yep. I got to climb Mount Everest here. <laughs> like, Check this thing out that Alex found, you guys. It's in pretty good shape other than the handle. Looks like he got himself the old axe head. You can see where the wood handle would go right in there. Still kind of stuck in there. Holy cow. That sucker looks pretty old. It's got like a like a curved shape to it. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. funky, nice. For sure, man. Oh, something here. I can see the bubbles out there. Is that gonna, oh, this one's coming. Dude, this sucker's heavy. What do we got here, man? Whoa, look at all them bubbles. That's a giant bubble trail. Come here. No, don't you get stuck. No, you're gonna too, you little rat. No, I think it just stole. Yes, it did too. It stole whatever we had. Well, now I gotta toss this right back in there. There's something we just had, you guys. I dragged it all the way over here just to get snagged on something stupid. I think I got it, or I got something anyway, something heavy, dude. You guys, this almost looks like another train brake pad. The first one we found was right next to the railroad, just on the other side. Now this one, we are way down here. Check it out, you guys, if you remember just a couple videos ago, Alex got his magnet snagged for the second time. Check it out, you guys, whatever they're pulling on here, you can see all the bubbles. There is tons of bubbles going on here. What do you guys think? Drop down in the comments right now. Is this thing gonna come up? It sure looks like, it looks like a whole vehicle. Look at all those bubbles. Check it out guys, this is Sawdust City Magnets. We are re-rigging this thing in a different direction here. And we're gonna try and pull it from this angle. Oh, look at this. You could pretty much pull that sucker right up. Yeah, that's a big frame of something, dude. Holy cow, you guys, look at this. Causing a big mess. Whoa, there's like something else attached to it. What is going on here? Holy cow. Oh, here we are. oh my goodness. Oh, it's some kind of cart. Is it? Oh, there's legs on it, yeah. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's get a good look at how we got that. Man. Yeah, look at there's feet on there. Oh my goodness, look at this You're thing. That Holy cow, you guys. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck? I've never seen anything like this. What in the world? Ah! 
We got her. Oh yeah, there is like handles on here. Check it out, like some kind of little handlebar. Well, they got her back, you guys. Magnet rescue successful. <laughs> I think it might be pulling something here, you guys. Is it? Or no? Yeah. Whoa, hold on a second. Let me clean this off a little bit. Look at this thing. Oh, hold on a second, you guys. I thought that looked like some kind of pipe, but dude, look at the end of it here. It's like some kind of faucet or something. It almost looks like an old, uh, like a shower hose or something. That's really cool, man. What do you think? There's like a whole shower in here? Oh, look at this one, you guys. That sucker was hidden under there. I almost didn't even see it. That there, I'm pretty sure, is actually called a daredevil spoon. And it looks a little pink, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be red. But the hole where you put the hook still looks good, you guys. All you gotta do is put a new hook on there and you're going fishing. Oh, check this one out, you guys. What the heck is this? Looks like some kind of small square box or something. It's some kind of square looking box here, but it almost looks like this is a button. Maybe if it wasn't rusted right up, you'd be able to push that in, you guys? I don't know. That's pretty funky looking, though. Some kind of weird looking square box with the button on top. This is oh, yeah. Hey, we just found one of those yeah. over there. On the other side of the railroad, wasn't it? Or wait, no, where was that? Down that was here. down there. Yeah, it was down there. Looks just like this. Yeah, it's got it like the, the... The little hinges. Yeah, it almost looks like a... Used to be a safe or something. Some big stuff in there today. Holy cow. Oh, look at that, you guys. Boom. Another railroad spike. That is so weird, man. We are so far away from the railroad and we're still finding them. Other than that, looks like just a, oh, look at that. I didn't even see that shiny, shiny on there. We got the old fingernail clippers and that sucker is so fresh. We could clip some nails right now. Nice. All right, you guys, I think that is gonna wrap our video up here for today. Tons of action going on. We found tons of super cool stuff. And Sawdust City Magnets and the rescue crew even got Alex's magnet unstuck. And we even figured out what the heck it was stuck to. All kinds of super crazy stuff in this river, you guys, and no doubt we will definitely be back. I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up for today and I'm gonna get out of here, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.